The name of my scroll is Forest. The name of my scroll is No Return. The name of my scroll is Her Person. The name of my scroll is Summer and Rain. The name of my scroll is The Eye. The name of my scroll is Sunlight. The name of my scroll is The Basement. The name of my scroll is Maria Papaya Josefina La Tercera. The name of my scroll is Space. In September 2014, Stephen and I began an amazing experience at the Parish Art Museum on the east end of Long Island. Four years earlier, we met Terry Sultan, the director of the museum, when she saw one of our beaded works in one of our collector's homes. It was one of those situations where you see a work that you can barely take your eyes off of. It just was so incredibly compelling. I went out to Brooklyn and spent many hours with them in the studio, and they were telling me about their scrollathon, their community outreach program with the kids. And it was at that moment that I realized that we had an opportunity to do something at the Parish Art Museum that could be very, very special. A scrollathon is a constantly evolving project. We've been using it to engage with kids since 2006. We've been doing it in schools, in studios, and with inmates out on Rikers Island. The Scrollathon out here at the parish is the largest one that we've done to date. We've never worked with this broad of a spectrum before. Hi guys, keep coming this way. All of the kids come into the gallery and sit on the floor around one of the largest pieces that we've made to date called Faith, which is the three-dimensional sculpture sitting on the floor. And all around them, surrounding them on the walls, is almost a wallpaper-like installation of these tiny printed ants. And we explained to them how early on in our childhood we had this infestation of ants. So a lot of the work that Stephen and I do together are based on these really early childhood memories that we share. It's great working with the kids in the museum because we get to share with them our art and actually have them see it and experience it. The students really start to get into the work. You know, they really start to break it apart and look at the details. But then a lot of students really start to zero in on the foundational layer, which is all made of scrolls, which makes the perfect transition into the next gallery where they're introduced to the scroll and its importance in our practice. When we were in New York in 2009, we came across this factory that had shut down and they had walls as tall as this ceiling with shelving units on it with just all these big rolls of trimmings. And a big component of what Steve and I do is take materials that are destined for the trash and turn them into art objects. So if you look around the gallery right now, you see these 12 large scroll landscapes. And as we were working on them, each color represented a memory so today, we're all gonna make a scroll that you get to keep, and then you're gonna title it. Follow me, single file line. You're gonna choose two trimmings, okay? Wow, that's the most amazing single file line I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so everybody's gonna take that trimming, take the end of it, fold it over very, very, very tightly, and start to scroll. And we're scrolling. You're gonna take your second trimming, okay? And you're just gonna cinch that right in there. And then you're just gonna continue on scrolling. Rolling. And keep rolling around. And what am I doing? Scrolling. And I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. And I'm done. After each kid makes their own art object, there's another component to the project. And we're doing a video and a photo of each kid. While a lot of the students are getting their photograph taken, we start the collaborative aspect of the project. So with 1,086 students, we're all gonna make one of these large scroll landscapes, okay? A purple and chocolate scroll landscape to rival any purple and chocolate landscape that's ever existed. We're trying to get them to help us with all the facets of the creation of that work of art. They're cutting down the trimmings to make the scrolls, rolling the scrolls, 
putting the scrolls inside the boxes. And we teach them about what an artist does after they finished a work of art to show their authorship, which is to sign the work of art. We've been wanting to find these ways to really kind of engage more deeply with the kids. We realized that we would have them each title their own scroll. So all of a sudden we were being able to engage every single individual student and having them trigger this sort of creativity to come up with their own title and understand what that meant. The name of my scroll is Childhood Memories. The name of my scroll is Fire. The name of my scroll is Would You Do Me a Favor? The name of my scroll is Acting Drama. The name of my scroll is Pops from Regular Show. Good show! <laughs> the kids kept asking us, what's the name of the collaborative piece going to be? What's the name of the collaborative piece going to be? And we just didn't know what it was going to be, but we'll know it when we hear it. And then we heard it. The 1960s TV dinner. The name of my scroll is 1960s TV dinner. Only $4.99 plus, plus $3.99 shipping and handling. And call, call in the next 20 minutes and you, will, and you will get these large lavender scented sheets free with your order. All you pay is processing and handling. With the scrollathon that Stephen and William are doing out here at the end of their residency, they will have touched the lives of more than a thousand families. And I was very inspired by the fact that they said that one of the reasons that they were doing this kind of residency in the schools is because when they were children, they did not have access to living artists. You cannot convince me that the kids do not walk away with a new sense of what they can do and who they can be just by working with artists like this who tell them that they can.